with a matching power supply. Hello, N4HNH here. You guys have heard me mention the digital noise reduction in this Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP in previous videos. I wanted to dedicate this video just to that. I just, I can't believe how phenomenal it is, even compared to the other Yaesus, including the 101 for some reason. I don't understand why Yaesu didn't put uh, this type of di digital noise reduction in the 101. Um, okay, so let me uh, turn up a little bit. And, uh, oh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Let me show you this right quick. Um, if you just tap your power button, this is a freebie. It will temporarily mute your receiver. Just to, I'm not sure if you knew that. It's just for a couple of seconds. See? And then it'll come back. Okay, that was a freebie. Let me uh, let me zoom in over here to the um, DNR or digital signal processing area of the radio. And of course, you know, with the FTDX 5000, this is for uh, VFOA. This one is for VFOB. They're uh, both the same. <clears throat> So I'm listening on VFO uh, A right now, and um, I do have IPO enabled. All right, there's uh, there's amp one. So there's your normal receiver with an RF amplifier engaged. Um, I'm gonna zoom over and let you see the meter. And you know by watching my previous videos that um, I'm not about the meter. And if you watch my, my video, uh, a couple of videos ago about decibels and S-meters and gain and amplifiers, uh, you'll see even how S-meters just vary all over the place. Uh, so when you give somebody an S9, it's uh, if you're just going by your meter, it's almost, I won't say never, but it's not likely to be dead on it. Uh, and in this radio, for example, uh, you know, S9 is really 2 dB over 9. So you can't get too hung up on the S meter. So what I do is I go from signal to noise ratio. You've learned that from my previous videos. So let's do that. What's this? So the first thing I'm going to do, since I'm in a, on a low band, let me turn that back down a second. Since I'm on a low frequency, uh, the RF amplifier is not really needed. I mean, look at the noise level. See, when they're not talking, it's an S5. I mean, that's a combination of... Just atmospheric noise, QRN, um, but also to some uh, local noise from my subdivision here. Uh, could be power lines, could be somebody's fluorescent uh, lamps or, or, or uh, LED lights, things like that. So I'm going to reach over here now. Just, just to remind you, the ATT, the attenuator, that's the first uh, stage where you can control the amount of signal coming into the front end of your receiver. So you could kick in 6 dB, 12 dB, or 18 dB, uh, press straight in, it'll go back to default off. So that's the first level where you can um, take care of some of the front end noise. The second thing you can do, see I still got about an S2 noise level, is I can engage IP01, intercept point optimization. That is Yesu's fancy marketing term for don't use a pre-amplifier or RF amplifier. Now, I can still hear him, but look, the noise floor has dropped to uh, S0. Now, I'll go over here to the DSP area. The, right now, the only thing I'm doing is I've got my receive width. Let me pan back over here. My receive width is at 2.8. If I press that and turn it off, it's a, the default 2.4. So that's a matter of personal preference. So, so far, all I've done is I've engaged an attenuator, my first line of defense against noise in the front end of the receiver. Um, and everything you can do there will help with selectivity. Uh, if you, and, and so uh, if you're not familiar with the term selectivity, uh, you might look that up or look at some of my uh, previous videos. Now, so then I've turned off the RF amplifier by engaging the uh, IPO. Um, it's called IPO1. Some radios don't have but one level of IPO. This one has two. But essentially what I'm saying is no RF amplifier. Don't need it. Pretty much 40 meters and down really doesn't need it. And uh, so now, over here, I want to I want to focus on this digital noise reduction. And this is the button right here, lower, the lower left in this DSP area, the one for VFOB is over here. 
Now I'm going to I'm going to turn the volume up so you can hear the noise floor, you know, okay, it's an S0, really but you still hear that little grind in there. And 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 by the way, another level is is that you can do is to roll back your RF gain. And basically, it, you'll see the S meter. Uh, let me show you. The S meter goes up. Um, let the S meter match the level of the weakest signal you're listening to, and that will, when they don't talk, let me let you hear how much it's not the noise. So we haven't even engaged digital noise reduction yet. All right, now here comes digital noise reduction. Let me pan over there. I'm going to put it on a level of one. You might be right. <laughs> That's just one. Now, if you're familiar with other radios that have digital noise reduction, including Yesu radios, um, there's a like a watery and underwatery, uh, under, underwater sound, uh, um, an artifact, a digital artifact that makes it sound like they're underwater. You won't hear that on the 5000. Only radio I have found to be that way. Um, and so far, I haven't really gotten anybody from Yesu to tell me why that is, other than to say, well, I guess that's how they designed it in Japan. I don't understand why they didn't put this particular level of, of uh, DNR in the 101, but it, it acts more like the 991A and the 891, which, by the way, are not bad. But they can produce that watery effect if you don't do what I've shown you here, if you don't do some attenuation using the IPO or RF gain to try to knock down as much of the uh, noise that's going into the DSP unit as you can ahead of time, then the DSP unit helps pretty well. For example, on the FT891, I find that if I've done all those things um, um, and turn on the DNR, it still sounds a little bit watery until I get up to about a level of nine. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 15, a level of 9 on the FT891. Now, with all that, now that you hear how quiet this is, I'm going to show you something that just astonishes me with the digital noise reduction in this radio. I'm going to undo all the help that I'm giving it in the front end. Again, any other radio, you want to use combinations of attenuation, IPO, RF gain, whatever you need to do to drop the noise level in the front end before it ever gets to the DSP. So in other words, try to achieve an S0 or close to it of noise. Now I'm going to undo all that and you're going to expect to hear that watery effect kick in because that, <laughs> that watery effect is coming from just the sheer amount of noise that that digital signal processor is trying to handle. So here we go. I'm going to first undo the attenuator. Uh, now I'm going to press in on the IPO button, which is going to default back to amp one. I can always toggle. But if you press straight in, that uh, gives you the default. So now I've got the only thing I'm doing now to help the digital signal processor is RF gain. Well, I'm going to go ahead now and roll the RF gain back to fully clockwise. Now, you'll hear, hear that grind in the background? But now I'm going to turn off DNR. Seriously hear that grind, right? Now, engaging DNR just at a, at a level of one helps. On the other radios, DNR on level one, you start getting that watery uh, sounding artifact. What I want you to see on this radio I'm just increasing. I mean, I'm going to zoom in over here. And focus. Okay, so DNR is at six. There's one. Seven. Ten. The only thing that happens as I increase the, the level of the DNR is the noise minimizes. Now, at a, there is a point, especially when you get up here to around 9 or 10, where you start losing some of the highs in their voices. But all the way at maximum, 15. I've got the volume way up now. 
no digital artifacts, no watery sounding effect, no underwater sound. So now I'll go back down and show you kind of a reasonable level. I generally run it on four or five. Now there's no help from the front end of the receiver right now. The digital noise reduction uh, processor is doing all the work right now. The digital noise reduction in the DSP, the digital signal processor. So that's it at level of five. There's one. There's five, you might even like seven. And again, the numbers are gonna be different on other YAC radios. I find that the, honestly, the most effective level for the, D, uh, the DNR on the FT891 um, and the 991A and even the 101 to be up around uh, eight or nine uh, is where it begins to really do its thing without having that watery effect. Um, it minimizes that watery effect, but again, you still want to help it out with the uh, front end of the receiver. And on this radio, it doesn't matter. I'm hitting it with full noise. In fact, now, I'm going to take it one step beyond. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I intended because I just thought of something I wanted to show you. I'm going to go ahead and engage Amp 2. Now, you hear that grind in there, but and I even do, and I do have DNR on, but there's with DNR off. Now I've got the digital noise reduction up at 12 now, but that's with amp two. I'm I'm hitting that DSP unit with a high level of noise. I mean, because these guys are 40 over now. All right, let me go back to what I recommend. On these low bands, I'm going to zoom back over here. I can make it off a gut wagon. Um, so, um, let's see. It's, uh, so, like I said, on, the, on, on 75 meters here, and you, you, you can even argue to do this on 40 meters, attenuate 6 dB. IPO1. Let me turn off DNR. So you can see, let me back up here a second. So there's full noise with amp one. Attenuate IPO1. You can see the signal to noise ratio is already improving. Now, I'll go back over to DSP. I'm going to lower it down to one and then engage it. Just a level of one makes a lot of difference when you've, when you've already cleaned some of that up in the front end of the radio. And then I'm going to put it up about five where I like to run it. And roll the RF gain back. And let me pan over to the meter again and show you how I do that. You roll the RF gain back, and, and you generally want to do that last because all the things you do here, the, the attenuation and the IPO, um, are going to cause your S meter to, to drop. Because, uh, like in a previous video I did on S meters and decibels, uh, the S meter is being driven from the AGC circuit way downstream. So, things I do in the front end of the receiver are affecting the S meter. So, again, let me remind you if you want to give somebody an accurate S meter reading, you got to turn off attenuation and um, and turn on amp one or turn off IPO. All right, now, so what I'm going to do with RF gain is turn it counterclockwise and the S meter will come up. And basically what you're telling the radio is unless somebody is an S2, and that, again, that's not really S2, that's relative, that's S2 on my radio now with all this padding. I'm telling the radio, unless somebody's at least an S2, I don't want, I don't want you to really uh, bring them in, you know? So it looks like the weakest guy on me right now with all this attenuation I've done is an S2. So I've got the meter resting at S2. Now again, all these things are, 
that you do will probably require you to turn the volume up a little bit to make up for um, the loss of, of levels you've got going to your audio yeah, amplifier. But listen how clean that is now. Dog and groundhog and squirrel and rabbit, they got it all mixed in there with it. Uh, there's a guy who's a little bit weaker than this, too. I might roll it clockwise a bit. Call the butcher's blend. We went across the mountain here and over to Irwin, Tennessee, so, Thursday. Like I always say, it's all about the signal to noise ratio. And uh, the, like I said, the digital noise reduction in this particular radio is just second to none that I've played with. Now, I have heard that the digital noise reduction in a flex is quite good. I have not played with a flex, but I've played with just about everything out there uh, that HRO sells um, and um, have not found a better digital noise reduction in any other radio, including the other Yesus, than what's in this Yesu FTDX 5000 uh, MP here. Uh, and this is a 2019 edition. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, discussion about digital noise reduction and uh, kind of a um, I hope I hope you kind of get out of this that you can, um, you know, it's not just related to this FTDX 5000. You can do the thing the same thing with other Yaesu radios, and uh, but the key is on the other Yaesu radios to avoid that that digital artifact that sounds like somebody's underwater. You've got to lessen the amount of signal going to the DSP unit by using such things as attenuation and IPO and the RF gain. All right, hope you found this video helpful and informative. Uh, thank you to my Patreons who uh, donate through www.patreon.com slash N4HNH and uh, therefore help me keep this channel alive. I appreciate all the help you provide. And let me say uh, 73 to everyone from N4HNH.